I was thinking as a bit of a side project um, to carry on the Titan Tries series where we fire up a game and we have a go, primarily older games, as my capture card is kind of out of uh, service, should we say, for now. Let's have a little look at some, um, some older games. I think this game has kind of caught my eye. Crackdown. I don't remember it. I don't think I've ever heard of this one. I did play it for a couple of minutes earlier and it looks quite interesting actually. So let's fire this thing up. I do like this animation. It's very nice. So let's have a little look at Crackdown. At the beginning of the 21st century, artificial life system was created. Mm hmm. An evil leader guides them in their quest to conquer the world. Uh-huh. Ooh, I like it. The federal government has issued an order to its two special service agents. Their mission is to destroy the enemy facilities by using a new type of time bomb. Okay, I didn't actually watch this. Crackdown. Oofed. Ooh. Hear that, like sound bite sort of thing. Let's see what like uh, options we've got going on here. We've got level normal, credits. Oh, let's turn the credits up. An M gun. I don't know what the M gun is, but I guess that's how many bullets we have. Cool. Let's add loads of bullets and cannon as well. Super bombs. Oh, we like our super bombs around here. So let's see what we've got here. I'll keep the difficulty on normal. See what it's like. Uh, machine gun, maybe. I don't know. Cannon. All right, well, that'll do. So let's see what this game's all about. So it's 1990 by Sega. Licensed by Sega, I should say. Hmm. This is, ooh. <laughs> so, blowing shit up by the look of things stage one okay wow and straight off the bat i'm pausing it because there is a lot of shit on screen holy hell so what have we got here we've got ben i guess that's us s bomb and then we have 30 and 10 two different types of weapons i guess and then andy i don't know who andy is it looks like we've got Ben 6, which has got to be our lives. And then under that, we've got 0. I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah. Look, it's mirrored. So we've got a map in the middle. Red things uh, on the map. I know we've got to blow up because I had a quick go earlier. It looks like we've got a time limit. And then on the right, it actually tells us the enemies that we're going to be facing on the level. We've got Proto Army, Punch and Kick. I guess that means they just punch and kick. And we've got Replicant Army. And he has a gun. Well then. Okay. Oh. Okay, so the A button switches between the weapons, I guess. Cannon. And M gun. So holding the button down doesn't do anything. You just fire once. All right. I think as a kid I would have been really into this because there's a hell of a lot of shit on screen. Look, you can actually like scooch up against the walls as well. Not sure what that does. Anyway, let's go. Boom. Oh, fuck. Hello. Ooh, yeah. Fuck you, pal. Alright. Not too complicated so far. So I guess, yeah, I guess we've just got to get to these X's and drop a bomb. <laughs> I think we could do that. Ooh, you gotta be quick with these guys. So what's the? <laughs> okay, so the the C button kind of does the special attack that kills everything on the screen. All right, I like it. I like it. Oh god, enemies spawn. Oh man. Oh, we're dropping frames. We're dropping frames. That's fine. Oh, okay. If you get close enough, you can do like a melee attack. In oh. Okay. So that's kind of like a quick death there. One shot and you're dead. Interesting. There's a lot going on in this game. A ri Ooh, they spawn enemies. Got you. Ah, so look, we've got Mad Murderer. 
Interesting. Oh, shit. Mad murderer takes two shots with the main gun. Got ya. Ooh. Oh, right. Ah, you can dodge their bullets. How interesting is that? Okay. And that, I guess, is just straight up ammo. Oh, fuck. I was wondering what the point uh, earlier was of hugging the wall. Huh. Interesting. There's definitely a lot going on. This would have been quite an impressive uh, Mega Drive game. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> You've literally got to have eyes in your ass here. Although, not quite literally, because that would be a little bit weird. So, what are those? I guess they're the stun bombs. Like, ooh, I guess so. Nice. Not bad. It's quite intense. I quite like this, actually. Alright. <laughs> if only it was that easy in real life. You're getting shot at, and all you've got to do is just, like, hug the wall. Oh, we're out of bullets. Hug. Oops. Hug the wall a little bit. Fair enough. Oh, God. Okay. That's quite efficient. The cannon is definitely more efficient. You can just, like, go through entire lines. Ooh, stage is looking different. Ooh, fast panther gun. All right. So, I guess they're just quick movers. Interesting. Ooh, very quick. Whoa, who's the roly-poly guy? Rolling panther. Oh, you little dick. Man. There's some pretty interesting concepts going on here. Let's just nuke these guys. It's a shame that enemies respawn. Would have been interesting to see what... Oh, shh. Yeah, because you can get shot by enemies you can't even see. Not a huge fan of that. Oh, God, yeah. Game over. <gasps> Oh, is it over already? Oh no, we got... Ah, continue to start you straight off where you left off. That's kind of an interesting concept. Ah, and we start with uh, more bullets as well, which is nice. Hmm. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oof. Do not like those rolling guys. What? <laughs> so we can, like, drown ourselves. Got ya. What is it with heroes in video games and like, it's not, it's not even a, um, that they can't swim, it's like, oh shit, you little son of a bitch. They're just like straight up, <sighs> god damn it, allergic to water, I guess. Oh fuck you buddy. There we go, that was sketch. So I guess you've got the risk versus reward mechanic, because you can loiter around the levels if you want and collect like extra power-ups and stuff. Oh, we've got doors now. Okay, that's fine. Oh man, looks like the enemy spawns kind of heat up. Graphics are quite nice. I thought they are, they're very simple, but there's a lot going on. You little sod. I don't know how long this game is. And I don't know if it's like procedurally generated. Let's just nuke these guys. I wouldn't have thought so. But it's kind of giving me a bit of a labyrinth. No, gauntlet kind of vibe in a way. Uh, they automatically like follow you, which is a bit annoying. Oh, you bastard. So Ben and Andy, kind of interesting names for two heroes. Yeah, you just get you get fucked up. Uh, at least we've got some more standard bullets. I don't know why you'd use the standard bullets over the cannon. I don't know. Oh. I don't know if there's any kind of drawback. Oh. Oh. Crash soldier. Self bomb. I guess that means he's going to like run up to us and blow up. 
That's a very Mega Drive sound effect right there. Kind of reminds me of... Ooh. Um, Super Thunderblade. Oh, man. I guess these guys are just going to keep kind of generating until we get the fuck out of here. Hmm. And we have cinematics as well. <laughs> what the fuck? It's so 90s. Hmm. Green tomahawk. Red tomahawk. Both got cannons. I guess one's tougher than the other. Ah, look. So we've now got extra demo points. Instead of three, we've got five. Interesting. Looking at that map... Maybe it's not a very long game. Ha. Huh. Well, let's keep going. Looks like we're in a... Um, I was going to say a car graveyard. Which is not incorrect, I suppose. A scrapyard. That's the word I was looking for. Ooh, word I was looking for. Okay, so their weapons are very slow. Which is fine. I think we can deal with that. Just keep grabbing up these this ammo. Are you serious? Oh no, we can actually hug the wall and fire. It's kind of a cool concept. These guys are really slow. Which is quite nice. I'm actually using my um 8-bit dough Mega Drive controller as well, which is really cool for this. It's the Bluetooth one. It's very nice. Um, oof. Oofed. Oh. Okay. I was actually trying to avoid those. Huh. Yeah, don't mind that. Not too bad. Oh, God. Don't like the enemies spawning in left and right. Not a fan of that. Really not a fan of that. You little bastard. Ah, oh, and it's all over, Ben. Oh, that kind of worked <laughs> in our favour, though. Oh, you son of a bitch. You really... Oh, no. You get a lot of credits. You really have to be quite pixel perfect when crossing these. Hmm. Not bad. These enemies are definitely less of a threat than the last ones. So we've got Mad Murderers back. Two types of Mad Murderer. Why is there one and two there? And then... Uh, Tekken? Ta Tekken. Hmm. And a Mandrill. Or Madrill. We've got a Sword and a Strike. Okay. Alright. Well, let's go. And the maps are very small. Who would have thunk, right? Okay. Come on, you little... Oh, they've got shields. Ah, interesting. Oh, it's like a fucking monkey thing. Monkey dog. Come on, you crazy papa. This way. Can I... No, I guess actually. Not quite as lethal as I thought he would be. Bit of a shit range on him. Right, you dickbag. No, nope. aim the right way, please. Oof, nice. Alright, let's... Okay, no, maybe they are totally impervious. Hmm. These bloody monkey things, man. They don't seem to do much, mind you. I don't know. Sometimes we... Oh, you... Twat. Sometimes you just seem to be able to hit those shield guys. And sometimes you can't. I'm not really sure the science behind it. Looked like he tried to, like, put his fist in my ass then. That was sketchy. Ooh. Ooh. Damn it. There is a lot of lag. I don't know if the original game was like this. Or whether this is just... Sega's emulation, but there is a lot of lag. The controls are very, very slow and sluggy. But that's fine. 
a lot of these old games were this way. Kind of spoiled these days with how responsive a lot of games are. And hell, who would have thought that uh, we would get 360 FPF monitors? 360 frames a second. Man, I'd love to try something like that. Okay, yoink. You need some serious CPU power to push that though. Ooh, what the fuck nuggets? Okay, was not expecting that. So these motherfuckers literally... Oh god, the lag. Oh, the lag. Guys, the lag. Oh no. <laughs> Look at this fucking warrior here. Jesus. Fucking Mohammed Amhad Bruce Lee. Okay. That kind of looked like a wall there, but apparently we can fall off it. Oof. So what the fuck that was? Flamethrower, I guess. Ah, shit. We've missed a bomb. Alright. Ooh. How the hell do we get in there? This is going to be... Oh, you little sons of bitches. I don't know what's going on with them. Seem to be fucking dancing or something. Right, let's grab that. One left. Cool. Um. Oh, um, so. Like. How do. Yeah, how do we go across? Well, that ain't it, Chief. That's not it. Nope. Uh. Okay. So what do the buttons do here? We can swap weapons. We can shoot our gun. We can use the smart bomb. And that's it. Is there a button somewhere? Oh, nope. I mean, <laughs> we can fall to our deaths, which is interesting. How the fuck do we get across here then? Can we push that? Nope. Okay, and apparently we... Apparently walking into that we fall to our death as well. Curious. Uh, is there a way like up and around? Not that it's going to matter because we're about to die anyway, but... How the hell? Something to do with that. Um, that doesn't seem to do anything. And time's up. Hmm. Well, this is random. So. Ah. I haven't got a clue how we get across here, guys. So put the bomb there. Another bomb there. Let's see if we can speed run this. Oh fuck. Whoa. <laughs> Don't you love it when the baddies just die from one shot? Oh you do cock. Nukem. Nukem Rico. Hmm. What the hell is this though? I mean oh shit. I like the way we actually like get burnt to a crisp with these guys. That's quite funny. And I have no idea what that was. That blah blah blah. Hmm. Oh, and then there's that. Uh right, grab you. I wonder if this actually lagged up like this on the actual real hardware. Genuinely curious. Because this is kind of unplayable. There's got to be something we can do here. Kill all the enemies? Maybe. Because uh, there's definitely no jump mechanic. I mean, we can... Oh, we can fast forward and rewind. 
That's interesting. Okay. Hmm. I have no idea. From what I can, if I could, there we go. From what I can understand. Oh. Well, I guess that makes sense. In a kind of weird ass way. Hmm. I guess, if in doubt, shoot it. Repeatedly. Ooh, look at these guys. Shadow Panthers. Ooh, fuck. Ooh, we've, guys, we've actually got a frame rate. We've got a serious frame rate. Come on. Don't die. Don't die. Don't. I guess we died. <laughs> hmm, yeah, so from what I can understand, you can finish this game in like... 20, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that. So that's if you know what you're doing, of course. Oh my god, this is so weird. 60 FPS, almost. And then as soon as you get any kind of like enemies on the screen, it lags right down. We've missed a bomb. Let's go back, grab that bomb. Oh, don't like the doors. Do you? Oh fuck, not a fan of the doors. Alright, let's bomb that. Let's get out of here. We're really up against it, time-wise. Oh, you cheeky little sausage. There we go. Mm. Oh, it's a wall cutter. Not really sure what he's about. Let's nuke that. Nuke him, Rico. Oh, God. And we're dead, because of course we are. Man, the time limit's quite tight, actually, here. Good thing we've got so many lives. Ooh! <laughs> the door closed and killed him. I like it. Oh, God. Game over again. Boop. Nice. Now, do we have enough time to get out of here? We've got rolling panthers. Can you die, please? Fuck you, pal. Right, cool. Now all we've got to do is get out of here, which is going to be harder than you think. Come on. Oh, you fuckwad. Trouble is, because you've got that time limit. Oh, you're trying to be fast. Oh, no. And I was looking at my timer then. <laughs> oh, I see. They shoot through walls. Makes sense, I guess. And yeah, we're fucked. Time is up. Savage. So I'm guessing, yeah, that just restarts the game. Well, I'm going to actually uh, leave this here. Um, crack down on the Mega Drive. I think if I had had this back in the day, I would have really quite enjoyed it. Uh, I think I might have got frustrated with it, but... There's a lot of cool stuff going on here, and the fact that you can play it two-player is quite cool. Music's pretty generic, as as are the sound effects, but I mean, the game looks nice enough. It's not going to win any awards, but that frame rate, though, that frame rate, yeah. I'm going to be interesting to see if that actually runs like that on the actual hardware, which I'm going to assume it does, because uh, I know my computer's not lagging up. And it's, it's always uh, when you have a lot going on on the screen. I can only imagine what a slideshow this must have been, actually, in two-player. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Interesting game. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.